These rocky shores Where I call home Where my heart longs to be Whenever I roam It's these rocky shores It's where I long to be Yes, it's these rocky shores they are home to me. Whenever I leave here, it hurts me so. With tears in my eyes, oh, I hate to go. There ain't no work, and the kids need new clothes. The bills need paying, so I'll find my stone. These rocky shores. Where I call home Where my heart longs to be Whenever I roam Yes, these rocky shores It's where I long to be Yes, these rocky shores They're home to me On the ocean's tiny road My tears in my eyes And my head in my hands Away from my family I hope they understand That it's these rocky shores Where I call home That's where my heart longs to be Whenever I roam it's these rocky shores Where I long to be It's these rocky shores They're home to me Yes, these rocky shores They're home to me Good evening. Welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include Coast Guard vessel W.G. George brought unusual cargo to the plant war. Work on repaving of town streets scheduled to get on their way this coming week. Camping statistics at Sandbanks Park up from this time last year. A large number of dead birds were found at Sandbanks. These stories plus community events, BBS Playbill, Off the Rack, and more coming up after this. Each year in Canada, hundreds of fires are started by children playing with lighters and matches. Children as young as 18 months can operate a lighter and start fires. The consequences couldn't be more deadly. Keep lighters and matches out of sight and out of reach of children. A message from Health Canada and this broadcaster. The meeting between Seafreeze, the local committee, and government officials that was scheduled for this past Monday was cancelled. Local union officials have been busy trying to get this meeting rescheduled. I spoke with representatives of the local union executive on Friday morning. They informed me that they have been trying all week to set up another meeting with Seafreeze but to no avail. As of that time, they still had no success with contacting Bill Barry, Reg Carter, or Steve May. Preparation work for the repaving of the remainder of the side roads around town is scheduled to begin sometime this coming week. 
Penny paving of Grand Falls, Windsor was awarded the tender for repaving of side streets and the replacement of the community's sidewalks. All the existing sidewalks are slated to be removed and replaced with paved ones. Also, all the side streets that have not yet been repaved will be done as well. Work on removal of the existing sidewalks and work on the rain gutters is scheduled to get underway sometime this coming week. The Coast Guard vessel WG George docked briefly at the Seafreeze Wharf earlier this past week to secure some unusual cargo to the wharf. Coast Guard cutter W.G. George was called for an unusual tow job on Thursday afternoon. The marker boy for Grail's Rock had broken free and drifted ashore in Doctor's Harbor. The crew of the W.G. George retrieved the boy and the 20 feet of chain attached to it and towed it back to Burgio where they secured it to the Seafreeze Wharf.
pull a nose, Doug. One of the larger Coast Guard vessels will be picking up the boy to refasten it to its proper location. with us for more of This Week in Review, coming up in just a moment. It can happen in mere seconds. It can happen while you're in the house. The thing is, it should never happen. Keep lighters and matches out of sight and out of reach of children. The consequences couldn't be more deadly. A message from Health Canada and this broadcaster. Camping statistics at Sandbanks Provincial Park are up significantly over the same period last year. As word of the beaches at Sandbanks Provincial Park continued to spread, and satisfied visitors tell others about the hospitality of Burgio's residents and of course about the beaches. More people venture down the Caribou Trail to see for themselves. One of the results is the increased camping statistics at Sandbanks Provincial Park. Up to Thursday of this past week there have been 970 registered campers at the park. This number is up from 657 for the same period in 1997. That's an additional 313 campers. There have been several instances throughout the summer when all the sites have been full and the additional campers set up in the day use parking area. If this trend continues, it's likely that we'll see an increase in the number of campsites at Sandbanks Provincial Park. Also remember that August is Park Visitor Appreciation Month. So if you visit the park, be sure to fill out a ballot and you might win. Prizes include a t-shirt, fanny pack, and assortment of items for children. A number of dead birds were discovered by a hiker at Sandbanks Provincial Park earlier this past week. The birds were identified as leeches storm petrels, more commonly known around Newfoundland as carry chicks. These birds are normally found out of sight of land and, are, and come ashore only at night. These birds, which are not much bigger than swallows, breed in the hundreds of thousands off the coast of Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, and the Gulf of St. Lawrence. There were 20 dead leeches storm petrels recovered from Fox Point. These birds were passed along to wildlife officials who are trying to determine the cause of death. Stay with us for Off the Rack, Community Events, and the BBS Playbill. All that, after this. Each year in Canada, hundreds of fires are started by young children playing with lighters and matches. Teach your children that lighters and matches are not toys. And keep lighters and matches out of sight and out of reach of children. The consequences couldn't be more deadly. A message from Health Canada 
and this broadcaster. Off the rack. As August slips quickly by, Pansy's Garden will soon be starting its next season. This week as we scanned our tape racks, we came across a video of Maria and Melissa's first episode of Pansy's Garden. Here's a look back now to October 1995. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Pansy's Garden. I'm Mrs. Rose, and... I'm Melissa. And of course, this is Pansy. Hi, Pansy. Hi. How are you? Hi. Yeah, did you have a good summer? Yeah. And what did you do? I dug a hole in China, and I went to the moon. Well, Melissa, can you top that one? No, I stayed in Newfoundland this summer. And so did I. And what did you use to dig your hole to China? A shovel. A shovel? And how did you get to the moon? In a rocket ship. I wonder what was the moon made out of? Green cheese. Green cheese. <laughs> did you bring some back? No. Oh, was it yummy? No, it was moly. <laughs> Oh, it was moly. Yeah, I would say it would be moly too. Green cheese. Oh, yuck. Today, boys and girls, we'll be reading two stories. And Melissa, what are the stories? And the stories are Have You Seen Birds and Henny Penny. And today our craft is a circle bird. And for this craft today, you will need construction paper, black, and a little bit of white, and a little bit of yellow, and a red for his belly, and a little bit of wool, and of course your regular craft things, your glue and your crayons and your scissors. Good evening and welcome to the community event segment of tonight's broadcast on Run the Green. The Brightside Youth Committee will be collecting recyclable goods on Monday, August the 24th at 6 p.m. Anyone having recyclables to drop off may do so at the RCP, RCMP building at this time. If you would like your name added to, to their list for recyclable pickup, Please call Ada at 886 3353. Driver examiner will be in Burgio on Wednesday, August the 26th, to do written and road tests as well as photo IDs. Burgio Museum will be open from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. from August the 21st to August the 9th, inclusive. All residents are encouraged to drop by and have a look around. August is Park Visitor Appreciation Month. During the remaining weeks of August, the staff at Sandbanks Provincial Park will be drawing for a prize. The prize includes a t-shirt, fanny pack and items for children. Tickets are free and can be filled out at the park office. If your group or organization has an upcoming event plan, we would be happy to advertise it for you. You can contact the DBS office by Wednesday of each week to have items included in this portion of our broadcast. That concludes the community event segment of tonight's program. See you next week. BBS Playbill. Tune in on Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Right from the Start. This video, which comes to us from the HELP Committee, helps teenagers define abuse and prevent violence in dating relationships. And I'll be here again next week with This Week in Review. For This Week in Review, I'm Dave Cooper. Good night.